In this video, I will discuss about an interpret power supply system which is also commonly known as UPS. So what is UPS? UPS is a device that provides backup power. So when a incoming utility main power fails, so this failure can be short enough uh, that is required for critical equipment to shut down safely so that there is no data lost or this failure can be long enough to keep required loads operational until the generator comes online. In addition to this, so backup uh, power, the UPS is also required for providing the clean power, so which is free of any voltage transients, surges, uh, sags, or uh, brownouts. So if you see on the right side figure, the long um, the important part of the UPS is battery, which is used for storing the energy in case of any uh, power failure. So the UPS will detect that and it will convert this energy that is stored in the battery and it converts uh, this DC energy to the AC and supplies to the load. If you see in the left side figure, so under normal condition, so the incoming mains is directly fed to the load. This is a standby type of UPS which is commonly used in household, household applications. So the power is directly fed to the load and uh, the simultaneously the mm, uh, during power is available the charger will charge the battery. So whenever the power uh, outage means uh, power failure is there, so the UPS uh, will detect that and the change over switch is uh, changed and the inverter feeds uh, will supply the power to the load so requirement for ups so the common requirement for ups we have already discussed is a power outage so whenever the transmission power that is available so if it fails the ups is required for supporting uh, the backup uh, power and also for providing the clean power which is free from the voltage transients uh, spikes or any sags over voltage or under voltage so for pro product for providing the clean power to the load so ups is also required so this is the typical block diagram of a standby type by UPS. So in the next video, I will discuss different types of UPS systems. So if you see in this figure, the incoming raw power, whenever it is available, so it is directly fed to the load, to the surge suppressor and filter and to the output. And simultaneously, this incoming power is used for charging the battery. And whenever the incoming power raw power fails, so the UPS will detect this power failure and uh, so the inverter will supply start supplying power to the output so this inverter will takes the dc energy from the battery and it will convert to the ac and then supplies uh, to the output so major blocks of the ups is rectifier so for converting uh, the ac to the uh, dc and for uh, for charging the battery and inverter which converts the dc energy from the battery to the ac and supplies to the load battery charging model because batteries are one of the expensive part of uh, the ups so it has to be controlled charged and discharged by using a specific module isolation transform if the output requires isolation isolation transform is also used in the ups such production module for providing the clean power which is free of any suggest transients battery transfer switches pfc because uh, this rectified inverter will uses very high speed IGBT's MOSFETs during this the incoming power factor may be affected so in order to correct this power factor correction module is used filtering module for providing any um, for providing the clean power which is free of uh, any uh, transients and display model for uh, providing the uh, status of the UPS so UPS system is used everywhere if you take a telecom industry which is used for uh, um, providing backup power uh, to the towers in case of any power outage, data centers, household devices, process industries that is in control rooms and mission, can, mission critical systems like missile launchers, nuclear reactor core cooling system and everywhere if you see UPS is one of the primary devices that will providing the backup power. Thank you for watching my video.